Hey, welcome back to the channel. I am uh, working on today um, getting these uh, cross braces into the aileron. And as I had, as I had mentioned before, um, I should have waited on these uh, uh, top pieces of uh, plywood gusset, but I did not. So, um, so I've been working around it, and so far it's. Uh, it's really not a problem. Everything's working out fine. Um, it uh, it just took. They just need a little bit of flex. I don't know if you can see this. Just flexing it just enough to get by. Just to get by here, and then it uh, fits fine. And the other one works out the same way. So, it. Uh, the wood has no issue with that whatsoever. Um, obviously, if I hear some noise, like some cracking or popping or anything like that, I would stop and uh, not do that. But that's not the case. Um, it just takes a little bit of flex to get it by the get it by the forward member, and it uh, fits in there. So, so what I'm going to do is um, I've got my stock here ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and get. Uh, all of these cut and prepped and in place and then I'm going to come back and actually uh, get them epoxied in place so uh, yeah so let's um, let me get a couple things set up I think I'll just be using the bandsaw to uh, make those cuts and then I'll use the sander to um, to just sand them until they uh, until they fit just right and then I'll uh, then I'll go from there. So, all right, I'll get uh, set up here, and uh, we'll get this going. All right, so I got uh, I got all of these uh, got all of these in place. Then I double checked. Um, I'm at the tip here. The uh, bottom one goes to the uh, trailing edge. The top one goes goes to the uh, uh, yeah. The bottom one goes to the rear. The top one goes forward. And then I double checked that on the tip of my right wing. The top one goes forward, the bottom one goes to the trailing edge. So they match, which was a uh, which was important. Um, and so now all of these are in and I double check that they're all going the right direction, bottom to bottom to bottom to bottom, bottom to forward at the root. And then at the root here, the bottom goes forward. So, and I'll show you that you have to relieve the, uh, you have to relieve that gusset a little bit um, to get that to, uh, to get that to pass by there and drop down where it belongs. So, just a slight little modification there that's required. And you encounter those a little bit along the way. Um, occasionally, there's something that you come across where you have to, uh, you've got to put that, uh, uh, you have to do a little something extra that's not really talked about or called out anywhere. But hey, you know, it's all custom, so you just work around it. And uh, yeah, all right, so now I'll get some epoxy going and um, we'll get this, uh, we'll get all these things um, epoxied and clamped 
And then I'm going to get the uh, second piece of plywood. I've still got one in the form there. So I'm going to get a second piece cut to size and get that um, soaking in some water so that I can get it in the form. Um, get those three all set up. Get the urethane on the inside of all of that. Get that leading edge on. Flip this wing back. Back First I'll flip it around, weight it down, get the leading edge on, and then I'll actually flip it back around and put it like this again. And then uh, once the leading edge is on, I can remove the aileron and continue down that road. And before we know it, we'll be in this location where we've got the everything separated and uh, got these epoxied in and we're in really good shape. So, uh, but I get ahead of myself. I'll get some epoxy. All right. All right, so not a huge update for you today, but um, but it's a really good feeling to get these uh, get these cross members in and sort of get that uh, get that mistake erased um, that I made putting these gussets on too early. But uh, I'll show you uh, everything worked out really well. It's really no need to clamp them on the bottom; they sit uh, perfectly fine um, into the corners there without any problem whatsoever. The top needed to be clamped and uh, when you clamp it to the top it's actually holding this up against the top part of the gusset as well which works out great and really nice uh, really nice glue joints everywhere and that uh, is phenomenal to get that done so um, I've got my measurement for my centerpiece of plywood at uh, 44 and 7 eighths, center to center, on those uh, 3 eighths ribs, um, built up to 3 eighths. Um, it's actually quarter plus the eighth. So I'll get that cut, and uh, and then I'll be uh, I'll be ready to soak that in water, get it in the form, get that one out of the form, get some uh, barathane on the uh, on the front, and and keep. Uh, keep moving forward. So uh, just a short video today, but no problem. And uh, thanks for checking, checking it out. I do appreciate it and um, for following along and I'll, uh, I'll catch you later.